What's up everybody? I hope you're having a fantastic day. Today, I give my baby its first haircut. It's grown up so much over the last 26 days. I'm so proud. I'm gonna take some of its clippings and I'm gonna tape it in my lawn journal just so I can remember this occasion. But in all seriousness, like I said, it's been 26 days since I scalped, aerated, and overseeded my front lawn. I was gonna wait a little bit longer, but there's some inclement weather on the horizon at the four week mark. And with the temperatures dropping like they are, it won't really dry out in time to, to have a safe mow. Not so much safe for me, but safe for the new grass. You never wanna cut your baby grass when it's wet. You wanna wait till it's uh, mostly dry, as dry as you can. You don't even really wanna cut your grass when it's fully matured when it's wet, unless you really have to. So um, it's dry now, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the mow now. After that, I'm actually tonight, it'll probably end up being a night session, I'm going to throw down some Milo on it. And then later on this week, and maybe beginning of next week, I'm gonna hit it with some humic acid. And between the three of those things, the mowing, the fertilizer, and the humic acid, I'm hoping to stimulate some growth in the yard so it matures a little bit, thickens up, because in East Tennessee, I mean, we're probably not gonna get the first freeze till sometime in the beginning of December. But in East Tennessee, weather can change like that. One day it's gonna be 72 degrees and beautiful. The next day it's gonna be 31 degrees overnight and you're gonna have a freeze or a frost and ruin everything. So I'm hoping to get a little bit more growth, a little bit more maturity before that point. So, but enough of me babbling, it's time to get the mowing. So let's go enjoy the mow. One more thing, before you mow, make sure your blade is nice and sharp. I put a new blade on there, so that way it's nice and sharp, because you don't want to damage any of the new grass. Other thing, get on and get off. Don't take up too much time. Uh, no worrying about stripes or anything like that. It's just cut the grass and move on. Last thing, jack that sucker up. I'm gonna be all the way up as far as it goes. I think this one goes up to four inches, uh, maybe like just a little bit under that, but nonetheless, do those three things before you do that first mow. Now, let's go ahead and cut some grass. You get a very good look at what baby cut lawn looks like. It actually gives me a really good showing of what this area looks like. Um, the th more thinness of it, this that patch that I made. It's much better than it was, but definitely needs some thickening up a bit, especially there amongst the road. But mowing off a lot of that debris really helped show me because uh, with the rain and stuff, it's just sort of fallen down. A lot of piles of that top soil. So that actually sucked up a lot of that garbage and all this of the grass it didn't take. But I'll say, I say it looks pretty good mode. Pretty, pretty good. Definitely shows that it needs to thicken up a bit. There's a little bit more of the weeds. Especially here. This area by the tree needs to be less weedy. But overall, it looks pretty good. Short. It's pretty, pretty good mode. Got a lot of weeds here, but overall, looks pretty good. Now, so the kids are in bed, which uh, is fun. Like I said, I like before another video. I love putting my kids to bed um, just because they're so sweet. You just read them a story, pray with them, sing them some songs, and they're just they're as happy as can be. But now that that's done, I'm gonna go ahead and throw down some fertilizer. It's gonna be a malorganite. Uh, the only problem is I love fall. The temperatures, they're in the 60s and 70s during the day, 40s and 50s at night, just wonderful temperatures. But the problem is this. It's dark outside. So daylight goes by, goes so quickly that, you know, when you work a full-time job, you're kind of really limited at night. And what you're, in the rest of the evening of what you can do. So we're gonna go ahead and do a hashtag nighttime furting. Hashtag nighttime furt. Hashtag something. All right, so I got my Milo. 
So the front lawn is just shy of 2,500 square feet, which if you look at Milo, the bag covers 2,500 square feet. So I'm actually just gonna throw the whole bag down there uh, in the front yard, you know, because hashtag YOLO. And then the other side, the strip, it's actually just over 1,000 square feet. So I have this partially opened ease bag. Um, so I'm probably gonna do half of what's in there, because that's a little, that's probably like 80% full. So I'm gonna do a little less than half of what's in the bag to do the strip, full bag to do the front yard. So let's go ahead and get the Milo pour. <laughs> So I got the Milo in the hopper. Um, it's too dark out there to really film. My camera doesn't do that well in low light. So you're just gonna have to trust me that I'm doing a hashtag night furting. So that's it for tonight. I can't really do anything else. It's 8 o'clock, it's too dark, and there's already dew forming on the ground, so I can't water. There's no point in watering. Uh, I am going to water it in the morning, and then this weekend, I'll throw down the humic acid. And hopefully between the mowing today, throwing down the malorganite and the humic acid, and some decent temperatures we have for next week, it's really going to cause the grass to grow and thicken up a little bit, mature a little more before we get to the super cold months and uh, it can withstand the winter temperatures. So anyway, that's it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed it, and I'll see you on the next one. God bless.